My Anaconda don't. My Anaconda. Welcome to Southwest Middle School. Southwest Middle School. Oh, my Cause you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no Hello I will be showing you what B, C, and B, C, E, and A, D, and C, E means, and how to read them. So at one end, you see we got 2000 B, C, E, and at the other, we got 2000 C, E. You notice where the 2014 is, and that is 2014 C, by the way. But wait, wasn't it 2014 A, D? You're right and wrong. We're moving on from that. Um, from A, D to C, E, and B, C to B, C, E. So why are we moving on from B, C to B, C, E? Well, look. At some point in history, in about 500 CE, this guy was a monk that helped invent Anno Domina in BC. And 500 CE, somewhere in the 6th century, he decided that he was going to help set up the calendar and adjust some years. And he came up with AD, which means the same as CE, but it, AD does not mean at the death. It means Anno Domina, and Anno Domina means the year of our Lord. Okay. So, BCE is the same as BC, and BC does indeed mean before Christ, because the monk did decide he was going to start the years at the year that Jesus Christ was born. So, BCE and BC are still the same. The numbers still do the same thing. The numbers still get smaller. So, 1000 BCE is before 500 BCE. So, everything that is in BC, which is now BCE, is before AD, which is now CE. They were changed because if you don't believe in Jesus being Christ, many religions don't, by the way, then it won't make sense saying before Christ and after Christ or the year of our Lord. They changed this to be more to be more respectful to people who's not Christian. And there is no year zero. There is a 1 BCE and a CE, but there is no year zero.